this video will teach you how to unlock the firmware error for the Seagate Rosewood 8F family of different generations. Now let's power on this pension drive. Okay, now this drive is locked. So we need to unlock this COM terminal. We enter the software. We can see this is one uh, LM EB01 and new family AF. For AF family, we need to check the manufacturing date. If the manufacturing date is before the year of 2022, then we need to use different modes. Well, let's get inside of the DFSC gate from a repair software and we can see the details. To unlock the COM terminal, we need to back up the ROM first. And we have already back up the ROM here. So next we can generate a lock ROM. This step is very important for this kind of family because this family contains two generations. Generation before the 2022 and generation after 2022. And this one is one old generation of AF family. So we select the original ROM here and now this is unlock ROM we need to select the parts to save this unlock ROM so for this family we need to select the model 3 if the manufacturing date is after the year of 2022 we can select model 2 okay now for this one, we click OK, and then we can click Write ROM. We select the Unlock ROM here, and then we select the Battle Rate, click Write. Now after the Unlock ROM by the Model 3 has been generated and written to this pension drive, uh, we can check within the COM terminal and what will happen. If users select the wrong mode to generate the unlock ROM, for example, mode 1 or mode 2, if users select this wrong mode 1 or mode 2, after users write, write the unlock ROM to the patient drive, users will get as LED arrow but now we have selected the unlock ROM generated by this model 3 now we can see the unlock ROM generated by model 3 has been written to this pension drive now let's power off and power on this pension drive we can see that the unlock handshake value has been output in this comp terminal. We just send unlock key and we can see we have already unlocked this firmware error successfully. We can try to exit the software and re-enter the DFL Seagate from repair software. Now Let's check the firmware arrow. And the software will access to the firmware arrow and list all the firmware modules here. So the model list is available. That means we have unlocked the firmware arrow by the unlock ROM generated by model 3. So for all users, it's very important to learn when to select Mode 3 and Mode 2. Thank you for watching this video.